Uh, dedication marking the 20th anniversary of the Kew Creek Mine Rescue in Somerset is set for tomorrow. Rescuers, officials, and some of the miners who were rescued after being underground for 77 hours are returning to the area for the occasion. Our Jordan Mansberger spoke with them about their experience and shares their story. Nine for nine, 20 years later. Nine miners were rescued from the Kew Creek coal mine after it had flooded, leaving them trapped 240 feet underground. Today and tomorrow, people from all across the country will visit the site to see rescue presentations and hear firsthand experiences of the rescue, like Bill Arnold, the owner of the farm where the rescue was made. The fact that everyone that came here checked their ego at the door and said, whatever it takes, we're going to make this rescue happen. And guys that would normally be competing with each other for jobs were helping each other when they were broke down. And everybody brought their A game. It's nice to come back and see all the people that rescued us and, and uh, talk to a lot of the fellows that we haven't seen for years. It's been 20 years now. Rescuers and the miners expressed their appreciation for each other and the Somerset community, which responded immediately under unprecedented circumstances just 10 months after the plane crash in Shanksville on 9 11. They're the heroes. They're the ones that got us out of there. You know, I mean, uh, they, uh, the endless hours that they put in 24 7 for that many days, you know, they're the heroes. Without them, we wouldn't be here. Former Governor Mark Schweiker famously stayed at the site for the entire rescue to assist any way that he could. One of the most common questions he faces today, why? He gave the answer during his speech. We're going to help our neighbors. You were a family. That's why. Just want you to know that. Reporting for WTAJ News, I'm Jordan Mansberger.